much is this moment worth? A hundred dollars? A thousand? Nah, it was more like twelve or something. Sorry, did I did I spoil the Kodak moment now? Nah, well, oh, that happens. I bought five of these packages from 1987. Uh, still in its plastic, and uh, it's, I, you know, it's it's fairly easy to get hold of diskettes or floppy disks nowadays. Uh, so I don't see much emotional value on keeping this plastic on here. I need to use them anyway, so it would be difficult with a uh, plastic on. So yeah. Um, so let's see what we have in here. A very nice looking box, like new, because it is. So it's not much of a surprise. I remember this feeling from 20 years ago that opening a new pack of floppy disks and uh, I mean this this is this brings back memories for sure. Uh, even the the god awful stickers and the right protect stickers up here. I mean. I haven't touched these in decades. It was. It's, that's uh, kind of cool. Kind of cool, actually. Look at the floppy disk. Also, here, perfectly clean. Everything looks like straight from the factory. And as always, they have the very helpful instructions on uh, the most efficient ways to mistreat it. This looks very nice. Let's see if we can zoom in on the serial number here if we can have some sort of date code perhaps hmm not really it's just like a number but uh yeah everything looks really really nice and as far as i can tell the surface of the disc uh, it seems clean so um uh, we'll see how this runs actually because i mean there's always a risk when you have a floppy disk uh, stuck in a box for uh, now well over 30 years there's no way of telling how these were treated over these these three decades and well we can tell that they haven't been bumped or, or hit uh, with with force but uh, I mean temperature humidity we can't really tell what the, what the status of that is really Kodak wasn't the company known nowadays for planning for the future so I uh, will see how the magnetic uh, surface might have degraded over time it's also possible that we have a uh, mold infestation actually on on the surface of disk so um, I'll put it in the Apple 2 E that we fixed uh, or didn't really do much but we fixed uh, the floppy drive in the last episode and we'll try to format one of these and see what happens Well, it looks good. So far, there is no errors coming up. So, um, well, maybe we're looking at nicely working floppy disks, but I'll do a verify also. See if we can read the, uh, okay. Not perfect, not tragic. Or is it? So it, it ran fine through the format cycle and uh, the format also verifies the tracks. But now when we verify we're getting more and more sectors showing us bad and I think this this means that we have something rubbing off of the surface of the floppy disk onto the head and I think it's actually well let's let's run this again can you hear that high pitched tone from the drive i think that's the head ringing from uh, resistance of the surface well the track series is worse than before but um, i think something is rubbing off of the surface of the disk so it could be the magnetic layer i suppose but i believe it's it's probably more likely that we're we have a problem with mold Let's take the floppy out and see how the surface looks. Wow, yeah. This is probably one of the first times I actually see the tracks on the floppy disk. Um, it's not a pretty sight. 
something abrasive is stuck on the heads now and, and causes these scratches to appear. Now in theory, if I put some isopropanol here on the surface of the disc, it should do three things. It should give some lubrication for the head. It should also clean the head a little bit. And uh, the floppy disk has a, a felt inside that, that the disk is squeezed between two layers of felt. And uh, with some isopropanol on that one, it would actually probably rub some of the mold off the surface. Of course, with the drawback that the felt would be dirty. But uh, hey, I have 50 of these. And three errors. Okay, that's a big improvement. Let's run it again. And, well, that's no errors. Excellent. But try that again, actually. I can still hear some ringing. Probably from the top side, actually. Which is still dry. Yeah, well, that's it. I cleaned the disc. Um, now, of course, the mold is still in there. If it's mold, it's probably mold. The mold is still in there. It still has the potential to grow. So um, I'll try to clean with a little bit of vinegar. And then I will clean the vinegar off with some isopropanol. And immediately on the surface, we can actually see that it's uniformly dirty. Wow, cool. So I complained to the guy I bought this from and he each sent me 50 more. Well, I didn't complain really. I, I mostly wanted to tell him that, that he should um, be a bit uh, aware of this problem. So uh, now I got a hundred of them. That doesn't work. Uh, but I bought this floppy cleaner from, well, floppycleaner.co.uk. It's uh, just a 3D printed frame and uh, uh, a knob that you can uh, turn the disc with. Maybe I can save at least a pack of 10 from the mountain of floppy disks. So what I want to do here is that I'd like to uh, get as much as possible of the mold off the surface so it doesn't rub off on the felt inside the floppy disk. And um, well, it's not going to be a perfect job. But uh, it's, uh, it's a lot better than just uh, treating it with isopropanol and let it, let it turn on its own. This uh, gives it some fighting chance to actually get the surface clean without having too much mold still stuck inside the floppy. So, um, I've tried some vinegar. Vinegar is not great. I mean, vinegar will probably help the mold to actually grow back uh, quicker but uh, I'm also putting isopropanol and I'm going to put quite a lot of isopropanol to try to uh, uh, evaporate most of the vinegar and clean it properly with with isopropanol to get get rid of all the leftovers if I can now I can see that the the felt uh, inside the floppy is now more or less saturated with the fluids. So uh, I'll, I'll use this fiber cloth and turn the disc to see if I can dry up the surface. So yeah, it looks a bit better. It really does. Now on a disc that hasn't been run in the floppy drive, it's a little bit difficult to show you exactly the extent of the problem. But I tried to clean just a window uh, of the of the floppy and and I'm now turning the disc a little bit back and forth and you can see this is mold all this uh, uh, All this pattern that you can see on the sides of the clean window is uh, How the disc actually looks and it's almost impossible to see it's very very faint but with this rubbing off on the head of the floppy drive it'll it might even ruin the floppy drive, I don't know, but it'll definitely scratch the surface of the disc and it'll be very obvious after after you've tried it. So clean first, try them later. This one was a success. So, uh, well, one down, 99 to go. I'll see ya.